Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is time again for Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate, except today is Tuesday because yesterday was July 4th, our Independence Day. So happy Independence Day to all of you. I wore my red, one of my red, white, and blue shirts in, in acknowledgement of that, and that's why this is on Tuesday rather than Monday. But let's begin. Let's get under those minutes. All right, for the week of July 4th, good news. Um, not a big surprise with the holiday weekend. Numbers changed a little bit. I think next week we'll see more of the impact of that. But the good news, active number of listings, 3,559, slightly down from the 3,615 the week before, and yet still the second highest number of listings we've had all year long. Wonderful news for buyers. Sellers, take note, a little more competition. New this week, only 482 new homes on the market. Once again, July 4th weekend, I think savvy agents and sellers said, yeah, maybe let's not go on this weekend. Let's wait till next week. So I expect next week we're going to have a larger than typical, larger than expected number of new homes in the market. The previous week, we had 827 homes on the market. Maybe they were coming to market a week early. I know one of mine did. Possibly, we'll see. See if this weekend is a lull between two larger weekends. The number of pending homes this last week, 461. So again, once again, new homes, more than the number of pending homes. So still more homes coming to market than homes clearing off the market, if you will. And the number of sold homes, 491. That's slowing down, but still inconsistent, somewhere, consistent somewhere around that 500 mark, which we've been seeing now for about six weeks. What's interesting, the number of homes with a price adjustment. These are either overly optimistic sellers or perhaps homes that were not as appealing. And either way, prices have been adjusted by $100 or more. We had 315. Now of the total supply, that's only 8.8%. Interestingly enough, Portland's been running at about 10 to 11% for the last six weeks. I'm looking at my charts. So we're actually a fewer number as a percent have had price adjustments. Last week I was hearing and seeing some other agents in their feed saying, oh, the number of price adjustment houses is, is exploding. No, it really hasn't. It's actually at 315. It's down from 410 the week before that, 381 before that, 328. So both the hard numbers and the percentage are both lower. So I'm not sure where those other agents were getting their information. I take mine from the raw data out of RMLS. That's what happens when you're a former statistician, probably the only realtor you know who's graduated from a medical school. So I take my numbers seriously. All right, number of homes that have sold in the last 30 days, 2,330. That, get, that is giving us a supply now. We have hit officially the 1.52 months worth of inventory. What does that mean? An entire six weeks, woo! Six weeks of inventory. You know, that's twice as much as we had back in April when we had three weeks worth of inventory. All that said, this is the, we are finally getting back to inventory levels that we haven't seen since, oh, I don't know, 2015. Yes, it's been that long. We've had ridiculously low levels. Okay, actually, it's not 2015, it's actually 2000. Oh, where was my number? Uh oh, I lost it. Yep, inventory, 2000. It's the largest percentage of increase since 2015. I'm mixing up the numbers. I'll, I'll get the correct number, I'll correct it in the comments. So yes, this is, we are we have doubled our inventory, but we are still at such low levels. Imagine if you're doing 20 miles an hour down the road, you're just kind of creeping along. All of a sudden, you just, ex you, you just accelerate to an explosive 40 miles an hour. You're going twice as fast. And yet at 40 miles an hour, it's still pretty slow. It's not much faster than a Model T or a Dodge Brothers truck would have done back in 1932. Okay, let's go on to the four car garages or larger. Active number of homes with a four car garage or larger, 87, 17 of which are below a million dollars. The number of new four car or large garage homes, eight in the last week. The number of those that have gone pending, seven. And the number of sold in the last week, nine. So right around that seven, eight, nine, consistent, same number in, same number out. In the last four weeks, the last 30 days, we've sold 38 homes with a four car garage or larger gives us roughly 2.3 months worth of inventory in the homes with a four car garage or larger. Those are a bit skewed because again, the substantial majority of those homes are over a million dollars, which does not imitate, does not replicate or represent the overall Portland market as a whole, which we're well below a million dollars. Now, looking at the numbers, Portland is still a very strong market for sellers finally showing some relief for buyers. 
definitely much better than the overall market on the national level. Why do I say that? Because we have a couple markets that have just been so explosive in the last two years. Idaho, Arizona, Texas, and they have absolutely just thrust the national numbers even that much higher. And now all of a sudden they are contracting, they're pulling back. They have an inordinate effect on the overall market. What that's happening is it makes it look like there's bigger changes when in fact on the local market around the country, that may not, those national trends do not necessarily reflect our local trends. As I mentioned, here in Portland, at the national level, price adjustments, we have finally seen national price, price adjustment homes on 30.4% of homes at the national level have now had a final, have now finally had a price adjustment of at least $100. Okay. Again, Portland is at 8.8%. So we aren't even, we are no longer even one third of what the national trend is for price adjustments. What does this mean? Well, again, Portland is still a very strong market. Now, maybe our sellers here were a little more rational and not being as explosive. And I think if I can get another, if Sally down the street got a 510 for her house, I think I can get 550. Well, no, you probably could get 520 or maybe you're back to 510 now with the increases in interest rates and the buyers, the fact that it's summer and I think they've kind of gone out to go enjoy the house, go out and enjoy the parks, the nice weather. It was sunny yesterday for 4th of July, which was nice. And then back to drizzle today. Thinking about the future, again, I think next weekend we're going to see a little bit of a skewed numbers for the weekend. I am optimistic because I've seen 84 homes on a coming soon, no showing. So these are the, the preview of, of upcoming homes. It's typically about one to, about one and a half to two percent of the upcoming homes I can see as an agent. And I'm seeing that number has increased. We were seeing around 57 to 60 over the next three weeks, each over each of the last six weeks. This week, we're up to 84. So I'm hoping this is a precursor of more homes coming on the market, <coughs> giving more inventory to buyers, but also that sellers, maybe they're rushing their homes saying, oh, I can't wait till the end of summer or maybe they're concerned about interest rates or just simply getting their homes on the market. Again, giving more inventory, more choices to buyers is a good thing. This is very good for buyers and for sellers being realistic and rational about their pricing. So as you have questions, I'll make the corrections, as I said, to the inventory numbers down below in the comments. Have a wonderful week. Happy Independence Day to everyone. One day late, but you can celebrate all year long as far as I'm concerned. I'll see you next Monday once again for Mark's Monday Minutes in Real Estate. Have a great week.